What's up guys and welcome to CNA Films and Animation's Animation Corner. Well, it's Wednesday again and we are reviewing Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. This film takes uh, place a little bit after the first one. Um, you can see the, my review on it. And um, this has Batman and Robin, they're take, taking back the city from um, gangs, the big gang that was controlled by the mutant leader has broken up into a bunch of smaller gangs and Batman is slowly trying to um, uh, take back the city really and he is met with an old nemesis, the Joker, who has been in um, pretty much a zomb zombie state without the Batman he's had real, no real purpose so he's just been living in that insane asylum really with um, psychiatrists and once he sees the Batman is back he kinda snaps out of it and is um, goes back to his Psychotic ways. Um, those two come, uh, their fates come to a an end. Finally, in this movie, um, a dramatic conclusion, which is interesting to see, and um, that's. This film also introduces Superman, who is um, pretty much in this movie, he is a lapdog for the President of the United States. He's pretty much an attack dog. And um, because of a the government's lack of being able to protect its citizens. I'm not going to say exactly how. Um, and Batman's ability to protect the people of Gotham. Um, the, gov the president asks Superman to uh, stop the Batman by any means necessary. And they have a Pretty cool battle. Um, I want to say how that turns out. Uh, pretty, pretty much the ending, and it's very interesting. Um, yeah, I like this movie a little bit more than the first one. The first one I thought was okay. I had some trouble with it. Um, I had some trouble with this one. Let's say there's a there's a scene where um, the Joker is in a. Um, at a Tonight Show, or a Late Show with a um, host, a comedian like um, The Tonight Show with David Letterman, like that, it's not David Letterman, it's a local thing, I forget what it's called, um, Batman knows that the Joker's going to pretty much mass murder everybody, and He's trying to get there to stop him, and the police are waiting for Batman, and he, um, I understand beating up some police to go to, just try to stop the Joker, but the brutality in which he does it, he doesn't just, um, like, knock out police, he injures them. He smashes like several of them's like helmet. He puts multiple police officers in the hospital, and I understand they were in the way, but um, I would I, I just didn't see the the Batman going that far out of his way from his goal, especially when it comes to the Joker and uh, the brutality that, that he was dealing to police officers, people of the law. Yes, the Batman does take the law into his own hands, 
to a point, but I just don't see that happening. Um, Robin's back in this. She's been training with Batman, um, but in many scenes, she's now an, an amazing acrobat. Uh, it's only been a short time. I understand her skills would have improved, but okay, why not? Um, I, I wasn't really keen on the voice of the Joker. I liked the Joker. He was psychotic, chaotic. Um, you weren't exactly sure of what he was going to do. Uh, he portrays a true psychopath. Uh, he goes on a like killing spree in a um, carnival, and he's just running and killing everybody. The Batman is chasing after him, but he doesn't pull out any gadgets to stop him. Uh, not the Batman. That is the Joker. I can see that as the Joker. Um, I got that right. They introduce, I'm guessing it's the Toy Man. They don't really say it's his name, but he makes these um, destructive toys. Um, they're for killing people, but he's supposed to be part of his, uh, the Joker's gang. I was not sure of who he was actually supposed to be. I'm just going to call him the Toy Man. He's probably some other character. But I have no idea who he is. Um, he's he's not in it for very long, and his he he dies in the film, and his death scene I thought was uh, really brutal and really kind of unnecessary. Um, technically. Robin kills him. It's a, it's a move of self-defense, mind you, but technically she does kill him. And then it's never mentioned again, and I would have thought it would have been neat to see um, she's young, death that, that was caused by her and what that would do to her, but never mentioned again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Superman's in this film. I uh, didn't really like that he's the U.S. government's weapon for hire, pretty much. Not even for hire. He just he answers to the U.S. government and does whatever they tell him, and they pretty much have him fight a war for them. And then they have him clean up a mistake they should have fixed. Um, let's see, I, as I said, I enjoyed this film more than the first one. Uh, it had its problems, like the first one did. This one I would probably give um, an 8.3 out of 10. First one I gave a 7.5. This one I thought had a better story to it, more flow. Um, it does have its quirks that are a little off. But overall it was an enjoyable movie. So tell me guys, have you seen The Dark Knight Returns Part 2? Have you seen Part 1? What did you think of the characters, the story? Am I completely off on this? Um, if I am, tell me in the comments. Uh, Tell me what do you think of the, these movies in the comments. Um, be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Alan, and I'll see you in the next one.